Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. Today I thought I would share with you guys um, how to make these little journal cards. It's something that I've come up with uh, lately. I was inspired by an issue of the Somerset Studio. It's, it's an old, old magazine because I can't really get them here in the UK. I mean, you can get them, but they're very expensive. So the ones I've got are very old and I've you know, decided a couple days ago, I thought, well, I'll, in the evening, I'll just start going through and, and seeing if anything, you know, inspires me. And uh, I did come across this article. And let me see here, which episode I can... Episode, listen to me. This is going back to the February 2019 And this little project was by, oh gosh, I won't pronounce her last name, Lynn Moncrief. I hope I pronounced that right. But um, I just loved this, and I thought, well, I'd like to try to make some journal cards. And so that's where the inspiration from this has come from. Um, these are journal cards that I'm making up for my uh, patrons. Um, if you join my patron, this is uh, you'll get a signed and you know a stamped journal card from me as a one time on one of the levels. So I just thought this would be a lot of fun uh, to share with you guys today. Now these, <clears throat> you can see I've done two different uh, versions, but gosh, it could be tweaked so many different ways. I think shabby chic would be beautiful. I'm going to make these. Uh, four by five and a half um, so that there's a good bit of writing space and it should fit into most journals. So starting out we're just going to get a piece of cardstock cut at um, four by five and a half. Now you could make these three by five if you want to. I'm just going to stick with what I've already done since I already know um, exactly what I want to do. And the other thing I'm going to do is cut a tag with the same cardstock so that it'll all coordinate nice. So first let me cut out my tag and then I will emboss large piece. Um, so you'll want a tag that's about three and three quarter by two inches. And if you don't have a tag die, just you know just cut out your piece of paper and then just snip it off and that, that will work fine as well. I think sometimes we, um, I mean, I have enjoyed those tag dies, but you don't, you don't need to have them. It's just, it's probably easier just to cut it yourself, in all honesty. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is the piece that we cut, I'm going to run that through the embosser. for all the noise guys. The big shot makes does make a lot of noise when you're working with it. Okay, let me get all of this out of the way and we will get started here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, sorry, I'm going to grab this other piece because I've been working on this one. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I've got the 
um, distress oxide in the old paint and then I've got some of this um, rose gold uh, metallic luster and that's how I ended up <clears throat> with that background and then I distressed around it with some uh, vintage photo ink so let's just get started with this I really enjoyed doing this because I've not had a lot of time to play with these inks like I had hoped I would so this was a lot of fun and I went pretty heavy on this old paint because oh my gosh <coughs> I love this color it's a really calming shade of green and it is just beautiful I used to have um, years ago my bedroom done in a similar color and oh I just I miss it the house we're in now everything is in magnolia which is so boring but I'm not going to get into painting at this point in my life <laughs> so it could just stay magnolia <laughs> um, so just a little bit of the um, rose gold there I'm just gonna come in and put a little bit of that around I just think those two colors together are just really pretty Now you don't have to use this you could use an ink but I wanted it because it gives it a little bit of um, shine as well And then bearing in mind, this is this part is going to be covered, so I'm not going to worry that that's a little bit heavy there. That's the only thing I've, I've noticed when I've been doing these today is you have to be careful. It ends up really heavy on there. But just a little bit. I'm not going to put too much. Just a little bit here and there. I love how these came out, though. And I'm going to... Um, I've got some offcuts of scraps I'm going to start playing around with using the same technique on that <clears throat> to get some little scrappy bits made up. Okay, so I think this one, I really am liking how it came out with the stamped. I mean, the dimensional butterflies are pretty, but I think I prefer this one because it, it really pulls it out. Um, so just for the purposes of this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with the stamped one. All I did here was with my um, little butterfly punch. I, well, I'll show you that. In fact, I should have just made two, but I'll just show you the difference um, when we get there. So let me just go ahead. This is just early espresso, any kind of brown. ink will work. So, and this is a uh, vintage photo, so I'm just going to ink the edges up a little bit. So I don't know if any of you are interested, I've had quite a few um, subscribers say that they would like to see more um, content <coughs> Excuse me about where we live. Sorry, let me grab my th throat lodging. You'd think I would know by now to get that ready. Um, so what I've created, guys, um, and this is an ongoing project of mine, and I'm, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to actually spend on it, but I am going to put in the description box below my uh, new channel, which is called Wise Old Homestead, and it is new. I've only got one video on there, and I, that was taken yesterday. We went for a walk here, and... I've had some people show interest in, uh, you know I love to cook, and so this channel, I don't know how long, you know, it's just as and when I've got time to add content to it, like 
on our hikes and um, gardening. It's going to be a very mixed channel because I want to keep it separate to this one is why I went ahead. So if you are interested, you can just check in the description box below and I will include a link over if you want to pop over and take a look. Um, I apologize already. I've learned I did the filming of the walk with my camera. A camera, of course I did, with my phone. And uh, I had it facing the wrong way, so it's just, um, obviously you can't, <laughs> you know, it's 40 miles away, so it wasn't like I could just pop back and do the walk again. So I have just went ahead and put it on there. But it just, you know, if you are interested, not everybody's going to be on I realize that, but it's another little project that I'm going to do on the side of any place that we go to that I think is a little bit different and interesting. Okay, so where are we now? Ah, okay, so at this point, I am going to now go ahead and back this because I want to have a nice writing place. Let me just pull over. I've got so much of this piano paper, I'm going to go ahead and just double this up and stitch it on the machine. And that will make a nice um, writing space. Plus it's also going to add a little bit of interest. So I'm going to go to the machine, guys, stitch this, and then we'll carry on. So, Okay, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I have done the stitching around so you can see and that's just the piano paper on the back and uh, so that is ready from that point um, grab my so this is just some muslin and I'm just going to Tear that off. So yeah, as I was saying about the um, the Wise Old Homestead, that's going to be a channel that I will just develop, you know, here and there. It's going to be more, um, as I said, things related to, uh, you know, walks and if we ever get back, you know, to where we can do a bit more traveling. I would like to, to show more places but you know who knows <laughs> what the current situation but and then like I said you know baking cooking recipes just a, a you know a real mix of, thing, of other things that I do because I have a lot of interests uh, you probably if you've been following me a while you probably know that um which is part of my problem. I just, I enjoy so many things, it's difficult for me to just stay focused on one, but the journal making has really been something I've thoroughly enjoyed, and uh, I still, I'm not tired of it. I, I you know, I, I do get times where I need a break, as you do with anything, but uh, I love I love creating the journals because they're all so different. Okay, I want to go ahead and um, stamp one of my little nature words here. Um, let me see here what I've got. 
Sorry, I'm trying to find a block, guys, for this. I don't know what's happened. Oh, here's one. I seem to have lost my acrylic blocks. Um, really, I'm struggling to find the small ones. <clears throat> and I'm wondering if I've um, somehow, oh gosh, lost them because I just can't seem to find any of the little ones. So this is stays on ink, which is a permanent ink, and this is really, really good for... Um, stamping on fabric. See, that's come out really pretty. So what I'm going to do now is just cut this out. And in case you are interested, that is from Paper Artsy. And I do not remember the particular stamp set, but I know I'm going to get asked that because it is a beautiful stamp. I bought that down at um, Blade Rubber Stamp in London. Gosh, it's been a couple of years now. Uh, we were down there, and I, I knew that that store was down there, and I thought, oh, I must go and visit that. And sure enough, I found that set, and I, I've used it over and over and over. All right, so let me just get a little bit of glue on that. Okay, now the only other thing is if you wanted to use the butterflies on here, I've just taken some scrap uh, craft cardstock and this is a Prima stamp that I've had for ages and I just randomly stamp that. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see, here it is. This is an old retired uh, butterfly stamp, uh, punch from Stampin' Up. And then I just took three of those. And I just put them on my tag and ran it through the machine to hold those. That's the way I like to do my butterflies. It's right down the middle. And then you can, of course, glue it to your the back. So it's a very simple process, but I think it, I'm really happy with how it's come out. Like I said, uh, the next thing I'm going to start working on is the little scraps, um, like this for example, cutting those down and just doing tiny ones. I think that's going to be pretty because I'm always, always needing ideas for this, these off cuts when we cut out things. I'm always needing ways to use that because I've got a whole drawer full of those things. So, um, Okay, anyways guys, I think that's everything. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. 
If you are interested in the other channel, it will be in the description box. And if you're also interested in the Patreon, it's just another um, channel where I've got more content for anybody that wants more in-depth um, tutorials and things. I, I do a lot of things from start to finish. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description box below as well. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll be back soon. Bye.